In this next session of the 12D visualization, we're going to add some guideposts along the road here and some log barriers into our areas of cut. You can see already our visualization is starting to take shape. But we can certainly add some more things to it. So I'll just open our roadside furniture panel back up. We go into posts and columns. And you'll see here there's a little arrow and it says move to image for details. On any of the tabs that you see this, you can place your cursor anywhere over the picture and a parameters panel will pop up. This allows us to fill in the parameters we want for our posts. So in the first instance, we'll put one meter posts and we'll make them a 0.1 by 0.075 rectangle shape. Set and finish. Just give it a name. Guide posts. Now the names aren't uh, compulsory in 12D. I just like to add them in. Model 12D is guideposts, and we'll make it a color of white. Once again, we're going to put them along a string. Click on select, and I'll just run them along my verge string once again. Once again, 12D asks how you want to install them. Um, we'll put them in at a distance of every 20 meters. Set, finish, and process. On the other side of the road, rather than using a rectangular post, we're going to use a column or a bollard. We'll leave them at 1.1 meter high and we'll make them a diameter of 0.1. Set on that and finish. We can leave this information the same. We simply select our verge string on the other side of the road, or our edge of shoulder string. By distance again, every 20 meters, click set, finish, and process. The other thing we're going to add in at the same time will be some log barriers. We'll add the log barriers into any areas where there's been cut and there's a table drain installed. So move to the image once again for details. Can go up into here. I can change any of the parameters of my log barrier. Okay. We'll just leave them at the default for the moment. Give it a name. Log barrier. A model. 12D viz log barrier and a color. I might do these in a color bond. Once again I just simply select my string. Now this string was already broken when I did my um, guardrails earlier on so I can just select the remainder of the string and process. To the other side of the road select and process and any other areas of fill. I might as well do them all. Select and process. Select and process. So if I go now back into my perspective view, you can see once we turn the models on that we've added in our guideposts down the side of the road. On one side we have circular bollards, on the other side we have rectangular posts and our log barriers. If I now go for a drive down the road, we can really see that we're starting to fill up our visualization with good road furniture.